All right, guys, David here, and welcome to B Tech. And recently, two companies have delivered news that many smartphone fans have been waiting for. The notch is finally dead, as Oppo and Xiaomi have announced their new under display selfie camera tech. It's just incredible how fast technology moves within the smartphone game. Just six months ago, we were seeing flagship phones with pretty huge notches. This year, we started to see smaller notches and the dewdrop style notch. And most recently, we've gone all screen albeit at the cost of a motorized pop-up selfie camera that isn't exactly kind to battery life. Now we're halfway through 2019 and this has got to be the way forward for all manufacturers. I was at the launch of Oppo's latest flagship, the Reno series, just the other day and it has that sharp fin style pivot rising camera, which is a bit of a party piece, but it does give you that nice full screen display. I've also been using the OnePlus 7 Pro lately, which also has that pop-up selfie camera and I'm always a little bit worried about accidentally activating it while it's in my pocket. You can find both of the very latest Oppo and Xiaomi handsets on the Direct Mobile's website. They have over 24 years of award-winning customer service and it's definitely a great place to look even if you're after a 5G device. Use their comparison tools to compare all of the available deals right now. Their link is in the video description below or search directmobiles.co.uk. Oppo tweeted a video with a disguised smartphone showing just the top half of it while somebody activated the selfie camera. On such a full screen device, you would expect a pop-up unit to come out of the top, but it does switch to its selfie camera and darkens the very top portion of the screen where you would expect the camera to be placed. The guy using it then places his finger over that area to illustrate that there is a camera there. The caption underneath said, for those seeking the perfect notchless smartphone experience, prepare to be amazed. Xiaomi responded with a very similar tweet, introducing us to under display camera technology with a video showing somebody holding two smartphones, one with a dewdrop notch and one with an all screen display. The Xiaomi video shows a smaller portion of the screen reserved for the camera and it's not quite as obvious as the Oppo video what's going on, but it does seem to show off very impressive display tech. That's right, Xiaomi and Oppo, not Samsung, not Huawei, despite Huawei being the fifth biggest investor into R&D in the entire world, and not the mighty Samsung or Apple, but I'm sure it won't be long before this tech finds its way into almost every single smartphone out there. But actually, it's not that surprising that these two manufacturers were the first to make this big step forward. In the UK, your average consumer has never really heard of Xiaomi or Oppo, but in China, they are two of the biggest selling manufacturers out there, both outselling Apple by quite a big margin last year. It seems like they've plowed some of that profit back into R&D and are set to make a killing next year if they can get these to market before everyone else. When we first started seeing notches on smartphones, it really did divide people's opinion. Some people found it quite interesting, whilst others absolutely hated it. And then from there, we had the punch hole screens. Personally, I prefer a notch. I found using punch hole displays just a little bit distracting, but the evolution has been so astonishingly fast to get us to this point already. There's no word on how long it will be before we actually start to see these in units that we can buy. Xiaomi have already said that they are capable of delivering a 20 megapixel imaging sensor underneath the display which does not reflect any light into the lens whilst the pixels are off. Personally, I can't wait to get my hands on these new devices and really understand how the tech works and see if the image quality is affected at all by being under the display. Stay tuned to BTech for more news and reviews of all the latest tech. This is a major breakthrough, so I thought I would make a quick video about it. And I would absolutely love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. As usual, let me know. If you enjoyed this video, then hit the subscribe button, double tap notifications and smash the like button. Lots more news, reviews and comparisons on the way. If you're on social media, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. It's at BTECT or add me on Snapchat, david.btect. Thanks for watching. My name's David. This is BTECT.